<laughs> nice, Chris with the uh, commentary inception there. <laughs> All right, looks like we're we got the seed and we're getting ready to go. Can I add reactions? I can't. <laughs> All right, seeds in. Racers readying up. This will be a match of three. And, uh, yeah, let's get this going. Condor X2 Gold Division, Chris versus Cupiola. Here we go. Condor X2 running the uh, X2 mod, which allows our racers to customize their Cadence Sprite, their Dorian Sprite, and their Clone Sprite, uh, however they want it. Give a little personality to each racer. <laughs> that monkey came across with Chris in that uh, blood shop. Kubiel is gonna bomb to uh, get into the super secret shop and it's pretty okay. There's a blood rape here and there. Which blood drum do we choose? The correct one, that's the answer. Chris just grabbing the blood drum and uh, getting out of there. So a bit of an early advantage for Cupiola. Digging through that tier three wall, gonna find a black chest with a base whip, no thanks. And good bomb trap use for Cupiola there too. Gonna get the luck charm before we head on down. Chris not getting any of those things, unfortunately. We'll be down into 1-3 at the same time. A lot of tier 3 walls in this crypt so far. Always a bit annoying. Hey, there's a Shrine of Space. Both racers should see that. We'll see what they choose. They could get a shovel. They don't have a bomb to get the uh, secondary item from it. Looks like we're going to just check this black chest instead. Got chainmail on oh, Chris getting hit by a red bat. Gonna go down and reset to 1 1. Pretty decent 1 1 shot there. <laughs> Mapping and a uh, purple chest. Could be good stuff, but. Oh, and there is two bombs. Chris could kill for it. Would have to go all the way back though. Kubila is moving on through this seed. Looking to get into that first boss. And it's going to be the unholy moly. This go around, Chris is going to go for the super secret room. And a good flawless victory for Kupiola. Going to stick with the rapier and finds the ring of mana. So mana null. It's the unwritten rule that once you find the ring of mana, you will no longer find any spells to use it with. See if Kupiola follows the law or not. Using a good blood drum there on the red dragon. And Chris is making their way back through the level. Getting this red dragon to come through again. Does not have the multiplier up for the stack of gold. Kupiola going to find a shortcut through a dug shop wall. Going to get some lead boots and a glass shovel. So it's going to spend some time clearing out this hallway of all these golems. And not to mention the uh, door. <laughs> Being super annoying. We'll eventually make it through. There's the armor grab for Chris this time. Gonna hit the Shrine of Space. So now we're gonna be on a seed parody. Or variants. The Shrine of Space, while giving a choice of shovel, will also add an extra sub room to each level, which just kind of messes up the generation of pretty much everything. They're going to be seeing some different routing and potentially items on Chris's side. But Kupiola is over on Coral Rift. Your Zone 2 boss going to do the entire fight with the tentacles. Or getting into Phase 2. 
Here's the fortissimal fight for Chris. Easy lunge for the flaws victory. Didn't need to blood drum there. Just making sure fortissimal's extra dead. And gonna go red chest, finds a glass torch. Didn't want the ring of mana. And Kubiola's gonna get, ooh, a bomb spell. Careful with that one. With ring of mana, it's dishing out 99 damage. Which makes Quartz Armor amazing. Because <laughs> you won't die, unlike all the other armors. With that bomb spell. Mana combo. Oh, Kupiola getting hit there by the beetle. And gonna switch off that ring to a ring of strength, which makes that uh, blood rapier much better. Two damage on it. Good blood drum there for Chris getting through that golem, golem even. Golems are in zone four. Clappas are just golems with snow on them. <laughs> they stood out in the blizzard. So Chris is gonna go through this door too. You can see a different boss here for Chris. That's the uh, Shrine of Space doing its thing. Crack wall at the 3-3 three, three exit. Gonna be a conjurer. We can get a different shovel. Maybe a headpiece. Looks like it, yeah. Some armor. And maybe going for, yeah, going for that pink shovel. Oh, Chris taking a big hit from a black skeleton there. Down to one heart. But does make it down into Coral Rift. Kubiola doing some shopping along the way. Gonna find a map. Doesn't have enough money for anything else, but the items look good. It was me, Ix. I said pink shovel. Because Kupiola has it, and they're gonna be going fast with it. Assuming we get to zone five. Chris is into zone three on half a heart. Not where we wanna be on the health front. We do have that blood rapier, which will do some slow healing for us. There's the pink shovel working for Kupiola, digging all the way around these enemies into the exits. Into King Kanga. And here's a late luck charm for Chris. Ooh, Kupiola trying to take out the Kanga line here. Maybe just uh, getting the bomb spell up. Works just fine, and Chris goes down. Did they blood drum when they shouldn't have? Why did they die? Did they blood bomb? Let's see if the replay can tell us. Chris blood bombed, I think. Yep. <laughs> Not supposed to do that. And I can hear Chris either heavy sighing and then laughing. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. That's generally my reaction to a unsuspecting blood magic death. It's like, oh, I died. <laughs> Kubiel is going to enact slow play procedures. Check these shops. Check some gargoyles. See if we can make this build safer. It's a pretty safe build already. Shield spell. Heck ton of armor. We got regen with a pretty decent weapon. Lacking bombs. Could use some bombs. All right. We're taking a lot of hits, Kubiel. <laughs> your, your build isn't that safe. Takes forever to regen this health. Use your shield spells. Chris starting out the seed much as uh, we were doing it earlier. That would be an excellent time for the shield. 
Oh, right before the monkey. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna shield, it's right before a monkey teleport. You never know where that's gonna take you. So that's good. Good. Into 4-3, arguably one of the most dangerous levels in the run. You got that fast speed. You got enemies that are gonna heck you up. And there's a stack of bombs fine for Kupiola. And Chris on 1-1, one, one, uh, looking at that shop again, yeah. Getting that, uh... Uh, torch of walls. Wall torch. Torch of walls. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be on the final mini boss for Kupiola after we. Nope. We're gonna go right now. It's death metal. Blood drum kill. Mm hmm. There you go. Flawless victory. Even more shop checks for Kupiola. Bring a war, perhaps? Yeah. Big dig. And okay, we want more damage on the Blood Rapier. I suppose you don't need the speed of the Pink Shovel anymore since your opponent's down there. Might as well go for the damage. <laughs> and hey, heavy play. Guess we don't really need it. We're at the point where Kupiola just needs to finish the seed, really. So we'll be moving towards the exit. Doing just that. Into the mini boss room. Shield that fireball. Yeah, yeah. On to. Who is this? Dead Ringer. Blood jump for a quick kill. It's a left side spawn. We're going to do Oblivion Strats. All right. I see you, Kupiola, doing Oblivion Strats. Uh, you messed him up though, so this is awkward. You had it good, and then you messed it up. But you did the shield there, so good job. And it's Dorian. With their frog socks. Kupiela making sure the field's clear. They might just be charging up this shield spell, which is going to take forever. But it's arguably the correct choice if you're trying to be super safe. Nine more kills. Takes like, what, eight beats? to spawn an enemy? 10 beats to spawn? Oh yeah, we're blowing up the stage to get some more enemies. Now we'll have to blood drum the stage though. Probably gonna do that anyway. So the idea here is Kupiola is gonna use the shield spell which has a, uh, a bug associated with it that is used by uh, many racers, pretty much all the racers if we have it, where when the song changes to the phase two song, the shield doesn't know what beat it's supposed to stop on. So it just adds all these beats that Kupiola is building up in the first song to the end of it. So now the shield's just gonna last forever, which is good for Cadence, but Dorian's still pretty vulnerable. So we still have to keep an eye out on old Dorian there. Yeah, if you spend too much time on the song and it loops, then yeah, you, you start the shield count over. So we don't want to go too long. But yeah, it's a super safe play. And it's something you can afford to do when your opponents die. So here we're going to have it. Kupiela taking the first loot of the match. 13.43 race time. 13, 19 in game, GG's. And yeah, it all, all boiled down to Chris just hitting the wrong button. <laughs> That's all it takes for you to die in Necrodancer.
All right, we got two more races yet. Going on between these two. There are a bunch more races going on right now in Condor X2. We have a Cadence of Hyrule side race going on right now between uh, Pleasant Breeze and Kalaria. Pleasant Breeze is up one to zero. Poker and Biggie Mac are also racing a Cadence race right now. Poker is up a one zero. Looks like we have some more races yet tonight. Be sure to hit that schedule link I posted in chat and you can find when and where those are. As always, we'll have the Condor X2 showcase matches this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern on Elad Difficult's channel. You'll see the Cadence races, which we're featuring right now. There's also the two side tournaments of Cadence of Hyrule and the Diamond character for Crypt of the Necrodancer. It'll be showcased. Always a good time. But our racers are readying up. The countdown is on. We'll get underway. For race number two between Chris and Kupiola, Gold Division. Imagine starting your timer. There it is. Early crate and barrel shop. Kupiola is going to bomb for it. And rewarded so far with a frost charm. Not going to bomb again. They won once at the casino. And uh, that's that's all we need. We're good to go. No need to play again. Or we're going to bring this other crate down there for another value bomb. We'll see what Chris does. Chris found a chest. Got a helm, so early armor. Which is always nice to have. And here's the second bomb for Kupiola. Shovel in some food. The shovel is actually pretty great. And uh, Chris was allowing Koopy to do that because now they can decide if they want to do the same thing. And it looks like they are. I'm not going to, yeah, push that rest of that crate down because we know it's just an apple. That's quality screen watching strats there. Oh, Kupiola! Putting to use that frost charm, I mean, it, it guarantees the quote unquote safe uh, blood drum steal there. But it does get hit. We'll see if Chris gets the good teleport. And they do, so they should be able to take down Blood Freddy while keeping the frost charm. Not a great blood shot, though. A torch and a gold flail. Ooh, this glass shop, though, on one, two. Viola's gonna go for it. Are we going all in? We're not. Glass jaw remains on the ground. Hey, there's a glass <laughs> shrine right there. All right. One, two, brought to you by the glass items in the crypt. Get them now. Or never at all. Chris will not. Chris is gonna go the safer route, staying on this uh, helm and gold flail. Gets the gold kill. Ooh, and a compass for both racers and the blue chest. I like seeing those blue chests just because you don't see them often either. But I like seeing them because it could be anything. <laughs> so it's it's always exciting to see what's inside. And a compass is very good. Kubiello is going to get their luck charm, their pile of gold before moving on. Chris is already into the mosh pit for death metal your zone one boss using a very good gold kill and we're into the room at the same time can chris set up the gold kill oh they got it flawless victory has just got damaged though so in their own flawless victory checking purple chest for it's chris's ring who chris is not going to take they're going to go black chest and finds their own glass then glass cat i doubt that's what chris wanted to see but needs to switch weapons so he can keep up with damage and Chris is going to get their luck charm. We're moving on. Into 2-2. Two, two. The shop here is not terrible. There's a Shriner as well. Ooh, Chris could bomb the left two and then get the weapon on the right. Don't go in that door, Chris. <laughs> that exploding mushroom will break your glass. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what Chris decides to do here eventually. Maybe they're waiting for Kubiola to make a decision. They're gonna go with the dagger transmute and get the electric dagger, so feels pretty good. Viola's gonna get the ring of peace in the map. Map's not really that necessary. We do have the compass already. It does give a little extra information with the sub rooms if we can find um, bombs or what have you. 
Chris is gonna find another shrine outside of that Shriner. It's the Blood Shrine. Gonna get bomb it for a Ring of Regen. And Chris's builds coming together here. Kupiola is still all in on this glass. So if they get hit twice, they're gonna have to find something else to do here. They do find the pink shovel again, that shovel of courage. That's the fast one, we like it. And it looks like they're gonna bomb the wall so we can get the torch. Or the cheese? Hmm. Oh, they wanted to heal, okay. It's like, why are we doing that? Chris gonna get that shovel as well. And then we're on to Fortissimal, your zone two boss. Chris will be able to zap those Fortissimal fans. Kubiela making a hold in the middle. Gets the flawless victory. Two hits for Chris. And Purple Chest has a fireball scroll, so not really wanting that. Chris could check red. Just gonna leave. I don't think that's fair. And there goes the armor for Kupiola. Hot dog. Gonna break that glass. So now we got an exposed glass rapier. And Chris is just behind. A much more stable build. Let's see. Oh, and there it goes for Kupiola. He got a runner. Does make it back into the shop. There's no weapon in there, though. There's a black chest to the left. Ah, had a knight. Just parrying on Kupiola there and was unable to outrun it. And Chris is going to be in the clear to enact slow play procedures. The rest of the seat. See how it goes though. Regen with the rings, pretty good. Armor with the hat. I'd like to see a bit more armor on Chris, but we'll see how it goes here. Yeah, you can see they're switching to check all these things. Find a bomb charm in that red chest, feels good. And it looks like we're headed towards the shop. Is that a Mimic? That's not a Mimic. That is the actual Shrine of Darkness. Don't think we want it because, well, you could buy. Okay, so, I mean, you don't need it. You have the compass already. <laughs> you could buy the uh, the ring, hit the Shrine, then go back and get your ring. Looks like that's what Chris is doing. You do get um, the reduced aggro, which is nice. It makes for an easier Necker Dancer fight. Zone 4 can be easier. It's because you're not dealing with as many enemies. But Deep Blue's your zone 3 boss. Getting zapped. Electric chessboard. Flawless victory for Chris. Kubiola bringing up this dragon. Steal from this shop. Didn't see what Chris grabbed there. I'm assuming it was nothing good. The purple chest. Switch into the big dig. Yeah, I see Chris doing the same thing Kubiola did in uh, the first race. Switching off that Shovel of Courage because we don't need the speed anymore. We want the damage. Kubiola paused there. I don't know why. When something happened, I was watching Chris though. Nice kill on the arc there. Oh, <laughs> Kupiola pausing again to explain into Discord that they needed to sneeze. <laughs> Thanks for that clarification. <laughs> you gotta sneeze to the beat and keep going. <laughs> Alright, Chris in the 4 3. Yeah, Big Dig allows Chris to open crates and uh, gargoyles as well, which is pretty nice. Good idea backing off of that warlock uh, monkey combo. Yeah, 
And we'll get the shop check. Goopyola is making their way back, though. Bring a piece on that glass cat. Oh, that was a, uh, <laughs> a runaway mimic chest. There's a shopkeep kill for Chris. Gonna grab some armor. Squig a suit. With that helm, it's essentially heavy plate. A do-it-yourself heavy plate. Uh, Kubiola's dying. They just tapped a bat there. <laughs> hey, blood shop, though. It's a bow! Uh, blood, uh, shrine, that is. Yeah, get that mimic. Got a coupon in it. Core rip your zone four boss. Chris could throw here, misses the pulse. It's flawless though. And there's a, another weapon swap for Kupiola, Obsidian Flail. You killed the shopkeeper, Chris. You can't go in there. She opened the door and is like, oh yeah, murder. Yeah, there's a weapon for Kupiola. Black chest in zone two had an obsidian cat. Not bad. Oh, there's the transmute scroll. You take that to, what was it, 3-3? Three, three? Get the ring of wonder. Chris standing on that uh, conduit with the electric dagger is going to do uh, all the damage you need. Kill any enemy. Oh, Freddy's coming in. Careful. Got him. And yeah, Kubiola does listen to commentary, so going back for that transmute scroll. Might get to the wonder before uh, Chris is done. One shot that brown dragon, and here we're gonna see the first dead ringer for Chris. It's a right side spawn, uh, easy. Left side, scoo -goo 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 -goo. And on to the Necker Dancer fight. I believe we have enough bombs to get into phase two. Yeah, we're just gonna. Oh, yeah, we've got big bombs too. Gonna head on in there. Oh, we're gonna see a Wonder Ring! It's wonderful! Tip your commentators. <laughs> All right, a few more hits for Chris here. Five more hits. Now, this is a pretty solid build for Kupiola. <laughs> if uh, Chris wasn't so far ahead. It'd be a pretty good contender. Chris not having the cleanest of Necrodancer fights, doing a lot of chasing, getting frozen. Oh, now we're trying to lure. Here we are. And looks like one more hit, and Chris is going to tie this up. 12.30 race time. GG's. I think I have Kupiola going on a run here. Yep, they're running. Tried to go into the shop to find a weapon and then found the black chest. Oh, we got it, but the knight is there to finish Kupiola off. All right, we'll see who can get the victory. It's second loot. Update on our other races. Pleasant Breeze going up 2-0 over Kalaria. And Ochre Biggie Mac is now tied one to one as well. All right, 
Racers are readying up. I'm gonna have a sip of this apple tea. It's like apple cider tea. It's like, think of apple cider, but not as sweet and more watery. And there you go. That's what I'm drinking. Which makes it sound worse than it is, but it's pretty good. All right, countdown's on. Here we go. One one cat jam. Chris is just gonna reset. They don't like the way they're going. There is a trap door here. Looks like Chris is gonna hop in. Opiola finds a skeleton in a crate. Feels bad. And a dove charm on one one that Chris is gonna miss out on. See if Kupiola even uses it though. Some racers don't like the Dove Charm. It sometimes can cause problems just with maybe it teleports all the enemies into your exit room. It's like, well, gotta deal with this now. Or sometimes they forget about it and attack where there's no enemy and that'll lead to a hit. Just gonna get into this crate. And then there's a cracked wall here. Crown of Thorns, not terrible. We just heard this song. Thank you. And Kupiola is gonna put the Dove Charm on. The down position. And it's not a terrible blood shop. There's a super secret in there. Um, Gold Cat, Chris is thinking about it. I think you just kill the shopkeeper here and grab titanium? Yeah. That's what Chris will end up doing. Kubiola making their way into that blood shop. They're gonna just do the kill. Careful that dump charm! Alright! Blood Freddy's out there somewhere. And you still have to pay for this. <laughs> That's another reason why a blood charm or a dump charm is not great. <laughs> we just hope Freddy's not in the exit room. Looks like we're okay. <laughs> Bit of a scary moment there. <laughs> Speaking of Freddy, the murder over on Chris's side. Uh oh. Chris Kubiola. Okay, Kubiola setting up. <laughs> A good kill there, setting up on the side so the dove didn't send that Freddy away. <laughs> well done. Both racers getting that pink shovel one more time. There's a transmute shop here. Chris doesn't want to transmute anything. Yeah, I think that's fair. This stuff's pretty good. You could roll for a weapon if you're uncomfortable with the staff. Oh, we got darkness transmute, okay. No, you do whatever you want. There's a hammer, there's a flail, there's a glass cat, that's titanium heart, uh, ops long, who's that digger? I need a different ring. Shield ring. Boo. Ooh, courage ring for Kupiola though. Oh, courage. Hammer. There's an urn here? What the heck? <laughs> it's going out with this seat. Yo, open that urn. Where are you going? <laughs> Clearing out the room, I guess. Did Chris open it? What was in? A bomb spell? That was it. Maybe I was gonna have to bomb for it. Yeah, old faithful. What a terrible urn. <laughs> Chris getting the flawless victory on Core Rift. Gonna get a shield spell on the purple chest. There's a potion on 2 1. Go for that. I really like Kupiola's build. <laughs> the Hammer Courage is tons of fun. I think Chris's might be better, though. And yeah, this is kind of the build. Um, we could stop and look for some armor. But I think we just go. I suppose we can look for armor. We killed the shopkeep. Yeah, so we are in go mode, essentially. 
Don't forget to use your shield. Should be okay. Freddy's showing us where the exit is. A lot of bombs in zone two for both racers. There's that shovel doing work. Chris taking it right to the exit into your zone two boss fight. That conga jam. I think my PB for Mary is also a hammer. I think it was a glass hammer though. Courage. I could be remembering wrong though. Tier three wall check for Chris. It's the food shop. I'm gonna go for it. That's got soup, super secret shop too. I would check that. I've seen heavy plate in here. Yeah, we're going for it. It's torch. <laughs> Feels bad. Kubiel is gonna grab it too. They can use a bomb to uh, get the extra stiff. And welcome everyone from Minz's <laughs> stream. How we all doing? Ooh, Chris killing a Shriner here. Careful. Good shield. Uh, what are we going for here? Ring of Peace, I guess. And we're in there. What's up, Waski? Coming from that Cans of Hyrule stream as well. We're on our third race between Chris and Kupiola. This one's going for duel. Boots of Pain with Courage. No, grab it. Why is that Shriner in the shop? What? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> or not Shriner, uh, Conjurer, yeah. All right, Chris in the zone four first. Pretty great build. I think we just go to the exit. Bomb charm along the way. Remember to pop your shield spell before hopping in there. Well done. Actually, not well done. You didn't do it, but you didn't get hit, so well done. Ooh, the snag coming into play now for Kupiola with that uh, shovel, or that hammer. <laughs> it's like a shovel, but it's flat and it hits hard. Chris trying to get this sarcophagus. Oh, Chris, no! Okay, you shield bombed. You're safe. But Kupiola is catching up. Using that courage hammer. Get through this zone. Here's the final exit. And Chris is in there. Death metal your zone four boss. Kupiola right behind. Got a blood drum for Chris. Just gonna take the hit and get done with it. I like that play. Gonna use your shit. Whatever. Go fast! You got the shovel, you dig through the walls, you go through to the mini boss room, you hit your shield. You go zap, zap, and then you move on. Kubiel is going to do the same. Just kidding. They're going to go through uh, hallway. But Courage, uh, Courage Hammer kills like everything in zone five. So that's cool. Good shortcut for Chris here into the mini boss room. Getting on that wire, doing the damage. Into five, three. Both racers with a potion have a huge pool of health to pull from. Could even blood shield here. Just gonna go for the kill and we're into dead ringer for Chris first. Has a quick kill with that blood drum, something Kubiola does not have. But it's the right side spawn, so easy. Left side, scoot. <laughs> Gubiola into it. Gonna do the same strategy. Them scoops. Careful that hammer on that belt. Yeah. Gonna put the dragon in there quick. Could mess up the scoots, but it's not it's going to. We're into the Necker Dancer fight. Chris is into phase two. Did not hit the shield spell. But like I was saying, they got tons of health. Gubiola is gonna have to blood bomb to get there. Okay. Here we go. Or actual bomb. What was I seeing blood there for? Maybe not. Anyhow, 
Looking at these Necker Dancer lures, Chris's weren't that great the last race. So Kupiola might have it here. And yeah, looking better right now. And looks like Kupiola is gonna take it. Gets that last hit. Overtaking Chris on the Necker Dancer fight. Very close final race. GG's to both racers. Let's give Kupiola that second loop. Chris gonna get their last hit in right now. And into the stairs. GG's.